Well, good afternoon, folks. I wanted to thank you for, um, for coming by today and supporting our cadets as they, as they prepare to show you what they've been doing over the course of the last 10 weeks. My name is Carl Seitz, and I'm the director of the Public Service Institute here at Macomb. I serve as the uh, associate dean over seven academic degree programs that we have in, in the areas of fire science, EMS, law enforcement, homeland security, and emergency management. And one of the things that we really stress upon our cadets is uh, I, I uh, retired as a fire chief, and, and one of the things that I came to realize is, is that the mark of a true professional in any discipline is lifelong learning. So we really stress the importance of of continuing their education, going on for additional credentials as well as degrees. So we have a lot of brochures up here in the different programs that we offer and if you or another family member are interested in, in any of our programs, I would love to have an opportunity to talk to you about that. My name is Tom Lindemann, manager of the Fire Academy here at Macomb Community College. Uh, before coming to Macomb, I was with the Sterling Heights Fire Department for 25 years and I retired out of Sterling Heights as the chief of training came over to Macomb and I've acted as a manager here for the Fire Academy for the last, it's a little over six years now, so our students have been busy for the last nine weeks. Uh, it's, it's great to see the transformation because nine weeks ago I had 28 students in our classroom, they were a little bit scared, uh, they're kind of uh, keeping to themselves, but over nine weeks there's been a transformation and it's, it's wonderful for me to see. Well what we have planned for you tonight is our coordinator for this academy, Battalion Chief Mark Turrell from the Clinton Township Fire Department has acted as coordinator for this day academy. And he along with our instructors and our students, they have about eight different mini drills or demonstrations that they're going to perform for you tonight. And it's just going to give you a glimpse into some of the experiences and some of the things they've learned uh, through their training over the last nine weeks. It's, it's a lot of fun. Again, welcome. Thanks for coming out. I want to thank you so much for your support of our students, for the support of this Fire Academy and our programs here at Macomb Community College, and uh, we'll get started in just a couple minutes, so thank you. All right, everybody, I think we got uh, most of the people here. First of all, on behalf of the Macomb Fire Academy, I'd like to welcome everybody to Family Night, and uh, Fire Academy 60, give it up for them real quick. <coughs> Okay, you met my boss, Chief Tom Lindemann. He's the director. My name is Mark Turrell, Battalion Chief, uh, retired uh, two weeks ago from Clinton Township Fire Department. And uh, thank you. And uh, I've been doing this for 22 years out here and been running the uh, Fire Academy for the last 40 academies plus. So I've been doing this for uh, quite some time. We've got a great group of, of, of guys here tonight. There's 28 of them here. They're in their, in their, their end of their ninth week. Of course, they got uh, their big test coming up next week for the state. And the one thing that we do teach them here is not just about how to become firefighters, what we do as far as uh, fire attack, rescues, things like that. We teach them about discipline. We teach them about housekeeping because the firehouse is our home. When we're away from our home 24 hours a day, we don't have janitors, we don't have maids. It's our house, we take care of it. So all of them know how to cook, all of them know how to clean. All of them have scrubbed toilets for the last nine weeks. They vacuum. They've taken out the garbage. So I've trained them for you. <laughs> and if they don't do it, you make them do sit-ups or push-ups. It's that simple. If not, I'll give you my number. You just call the chief, and I'll take care of business. But the one thing they also have learned is they've learned about confidence. Confidence is in themselves, confidence in their equipment, and confidence in their team. And they've done a great job. They have just become one big family. And that's why you're here, because we want to share with what they've been doing for the last nine weeks so you have some idea what they've been doing. So that's why we have family night. So once again, on behalf of the uh, Macomb Emergency uh, Services Training Center, we, we welcome you. So this is what we call our dog and pony show, Academy 60. We're going to start out right now with what we call hydraulic ventilation. Academy, our cup, excuse me, company number uh, two here, uh, under the uh, guidance of uh, Firefighter Hill, is going to take firefighters uh, Cleveland, Reynolds, Malberg, Van Vecten, and Ayudo up to the fourth floor. And what they do is we use a hose stream of water to use it for hydraulic ventilation to get the smoke and heat out of the building. So company two, 
Go. <clears throat> this is Brandon, by the way. He volunteered. <laughs> Brandon, what's that on the bottom of your right elbow? What's that on the bottom of your right elbow? On the bottom of your elbow. What is that? Oh, on the very bottom. Where? I, on your sleeve. On the bottom of your sleeve. What is that? Nope, it's up underneath there. Where is it? You see it? All right. Charge it. <clears throat> All right, air horn, air horn. Okay, watch the third floor window. Here comes Firefighter Roth, emergency egress. Firefighter Roth, give it up for him. Okay, shut down that line. Okay. Like we said earlier, it's about confidence in themselves, confidence in their equipment, and confidence in their team. If I could direct your eyes to the top of the tower, on the left side we have Firefighter Genuine, on the right is Firefighter Manders. They're going to do a demonstration on some uh, rappelling. And they do put up Christmas lights on their days off. <clears throat> okay, let's lock them off there. Turn them around so they can wave. What do you think? Should they wave to everybody? Look, Ma, no hands or feet. All right, bring them down. All right, one more time. How about for firefighters Jenny Wine and Manders? <clears throat> All right, folks, you're going to need to move a little bit more to the uh, left here. Not too far. Captain DeMeyer, are we ready? C a couple of years ago, I, uh, I, I grabbed my daughter's car because it needed an oil change and to rotate the tires. and. She's still waiting for it to come back. This is what's left of it. <clears throat> Company one. Okay, right now on the uh, team one, we got firefighter Plesco backed up by firefighters Brown and Sogi. All right, back them out. All right, how about for uh, firefighters plus go and Brown? <clears throat> okay, on team two, we're going to bring in uh, firefighter Littlefield with Engelsdorfer and Ahern on backup. Team two, let's go. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh yeah, they'll pay for that later. I'll get them later. I told him not to get me wet. I think he did it on purpose. <laughs> All right, move around. Retreat. How about for uh, Firefighters Little Field and Engelsdorfer right there, folks? Okay, if everyone could kind of follow me, we're going to go around the building some more. Hey, Cap. We're going to get those lines in place for the first floor and around the outside. <clears throat> if you uh, could look to the tower. Up by the third uh, story window there, we have a firefighter corker up there. And uh, he's going to demonstrate what we call a ladder slide. He's good. That's good. All right, give it up for him. <clears throat> you all right? You all right? OK, put your helmet back together. In fact, switch helmets. Give him a different helmet. Let's get him a different helmet right now. That's it. Give me your helmet. OK. OK, now we're going to do a couple ladder rescues uh, with uh, ground ladders. We got uh, Firefighter David are uh, going to be rescuing Firefighter Kempinski on the middle ladder here. Let's go, guys. Get up there. Okay, Brown, get up. Let's go. Get up there. Go. <clears throat> get, in, get in position. Don't go until I tell you. Huh? Sarge, can you secure that ladder? He's got it. Good. You're good. All right. Let's watch him. Once again, how about for Firefighter David and Kempinski there? <clears throat> okay, on the uh, tall ladder, we've got uh, Firefighter Sites going to rescue Firefighter Moore. It's going to do a little different, though. Like I said, confidence in yourself, in your equipment, and your team is a perfect example right there. All right, give it up for them. Firefighter sights and more. <clears throat> okay, folks, let's continue around the building. Got a couple more uh, demonstrations for you. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. All right, folks, you can come right up here close to the building. Just please be careful. Do not trip or stand on the hoses, all right? Come right up here close to the building if you want. Got uh, Firefighter Zaharski and Firefighter Mork on the attack line with uh, Firefighter Smith on backup. And we have Firefighter Denmark and Kowalczyk also assisting. Go. Back up, stay right there. Back up, shut down.
the 911 operators in Macomb County do not like when we burn. They get so many phone calls. We have to warn them when we're going to be out here. Drop them. Hey, we got a man down. Get in there and help him out. Man down, man down. Get him out of there, Smith. Drag him out. Keep going. Keep going. Take him all the way to Dunham. All right, that's good. Back out, guys. Retreat. Yeah, so Firefighter Smith did a rescue on Firefighter Bork there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of uh, Fire Academy number 60, we'd like to thank you for coming out. Sit tight, don't move. We got a little something for you. Okay, 60, line up. Hello there, princess. Can you pick a number for me? Just say it out loud, whatever number you want. 100. 100, that's a lot. Can you pick another number? Pick one a little smaller. Something from 1 to 50. Uh, 31. 31 it is. Okay. What's your name? Isabella. Isabella? Okay, I just talked to Isabella. I said, give me a number from 1 to 100. You know what she picked? 100. So I said, let's make it from 1 to 50. So she picked 31. Guess what that means? Assume my favorite position. <laughs> do them together. I'll do the cadence. You do the counting. Ready up. And down. Four. 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 Down. Down, 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 What number was that? Down. All right, get up. All right, before I uh, let these, uh, these masked men over here come and visit with you, I would uh, like to uh, thank our uh, friends across the hall, our, our cadets from the police academy for helping with uh, traffic and safety tonight. Please give our crew a round of applause over there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you got 10 minutes. I hope to see everybody at graduation on Friday next week. It's a one-hour ceremony. starts at 11 o'clock sharp. You can bring as many people as you want. No tickets, no charge. Come out. It's a great, great ceremony, and uh, we'll have a good time. Once again, on behalf of the McCall Fire Training Center, thanks for coming out. You got 10 minutes. Oop, 10 minutes. Uh, the program here is 10 weeks long, and it teaches um, all aspects of the fire service. It prepares a student uh, to be hired by the fire academy, or by a fire department. It involves classroom, um, physical training, drill ground, and we even have live fire burns. Today for family night, they show um, a num various uh, activities that they've learned. They um, demonstrated advancing hose into the burn tower, uh, doing hydraulic ventilation, they uh, did an emergency evacuation by bailing out of a window and rappelling down a rope. They um, put out a car fire. They um, did rappelling off the roof of the burn tower. They uh, did ladder rescues um, and also did fire extinguishment um, of the burn pad. I've been teaching here for I think over 21 years, I've uh, 
started, uh, went through Macomb uh, Fire Academy when I got hired by Roseville, City of Roseville Fire Department in 1992 and started teaching here right after that and I've been here ever since. So if you'd like to become a firefighter, you need to come to Macomb and go through their program because it's the best academy in Michigan.